Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Government, community leaders, religious leaders meet over a do rising crime wave. Hello, everyone. A very big thank you to every one of you. Shout out to all of you right there. Thank you so much for your constant and continuous support. We truly, really appreciate you. God bless you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Apple Line Media, we owe it as a duty to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and across the world. You have a voice. Please use it. Well, my people, this is what is correct going on in my opinion you know Edo State has been on the news recently for both the good the bad the ugly I want to say that um, one of the governors among the 36 state governors in the federation governor Gordon Obaseki is not doing badly at all he's just been inaugurated for his second tenure a few days ago and is bringing new innovatives and you know that will if if eventually actualized would put Edo state as one of the leading states in Nigeria what about the Obar of Benin welcoming to national communities and development to Edo state to move the state forward so there is a lot going on in Edo state at the moment however we talked about the good, the bad, the ugly, right? So right now we are seeing that um, there is a lot of crime rates going on, especially with the break, uh, the, the prison break that happened in Edo State, where we know that um, two prisons were broken and uh, you know inmates left, and this has led to court activity rise in the state. There was a lot of court activities at some point, but was put in order. But however, since the since that happened. There's been people dropped dead on the street and what have you. And this has called for, um, you know, emergency intervention. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Edo State Government has met with traditional religious and community leaders to tackle rising insecurity in Ikboba, Ukada, local government area, as well as a Benin City, the Edo State capital. This is just as the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Johnson Kokumu, conveyed the appeal of the deployment of the first badge of 877 of the 2,000 police constables who had their passing out parade on Saturday to some communities in Edo State. Can you imagine the numbers of policemen being deployed to Edo State as if there is war? All because, I mean, people have been dying. Young boys, this is currently what is going on where a number of policemen are being deployed to Edo State. We see young men, young men for as, as range as, as, as young as 17 to about 30 years of age wasting their life. Not just the, if it's just them involving in court activities and killing themselves, I think that is bad enough. Even Passers by, innocent people get caught up in the crossfire. We've seen stray bullets hitting people, and people are scared to even come out of their of their houses, closing their doors and windows. You don't know where the stray bullets are going. You know, let's continue. He said the men were drawn from the various communities and will work with a joint patrol team comparing the military and deploy, deployment of state service and Nigerian security and civil defense corps to also come on board. I have also promised the council chairman that we are going to have the police constables here. I have also promised the council chairman that we are going to have the police constable here. They are drawn from the various communities of various, of course, that are have abrased with the event of what is going on in Edo State. There is a downward trend of crime and criminality in these communities. We are leaving no stone unturned towards ensuring that we dominate the public space and bring about peace and order. The stakeholders also inaugurated Ukada, Ukada Local Government Council Vigilante to our security personnel in fighting crime in the area. The chairman of Ikboba, Ukada Local Government Area, Dr. Eric Osaide, has also said that he's getting um, 70 members of the vigilante would also who will also assist in conveying security agencies in combating the crime and pay monthly they'll be paid monthly by the council all right has been and materials and everything has been put in place to make sure that this fight to restore peace and orderliness to a do state have been put in place to make sure that things are done religious leaders and all forms of leaders in a do state according to the government have been called upon to make sure that they restore peace through their various influences on the people talking to parents to instruct their children to desist and to be 
and to withdraw from criminal activities that has put Edo State in the bad light. We have great plans and dreams for Edo State, especially our youth, to aspire to become great, get involved in government, tackle the issues of the day, and be relevant in today's life and century, rather than involving themselves in criminal activities that hurt and lead nobody anywhere. Edo State has become a hub and center where people refer to for criminal activities. We have to restore peace and order so that the government's initiative to bring about development in Edo State can be visible, real, and become a reality. If we continue to destroy Edo State with our hands and destroy the young men and women, we, are, we do ourselves no good. And as a matter of fact, we are the ones doing our own selves. If we must move forward, if we must aspire, if we must become the great and relevant people, then we must do more to make sure that peace is restored. It's only a position of peace and tranquility that can bring about growth and true development. If a do state must become all the dreams and aspiration and plans of the federal government to put her in the best position, then we must work together as one entity. So that's Governor Gordon Obaseki making, having a meeting with not just religious and the community leaders as well as local government chairman because there have been activities of crime that has been engulfing in those states recently and we've been keeping you up to date with all that has been going on. It is important, it is expedient that the people of Bedo State begin to work together as one and see themselves as one people. Enough of killing brothers, killing brothers, all because of supremacy cult activity. We've even heard of two brothers who belong to two different fraternity and guess what they dare one of the brothers to kill his own brother same mother same father same mother same father they told him because your brother is in a rival court kill your brother and because he wanted to please people he rather killed the son of his own mother of his own father so these are these are things that do not move people forward these are these are bad lights all the dreams and plans for of Governor Gordon Obaseki that is trying to innovate and bring things into a do state cannot be a reality if there is no peace. Look at the Obar of Benin. Got involved with um, you know the British and the U.S. to restore back some of the uh, you know the, the the sculptures and things that were stolen from Benin City, you know the, the great Benin Empire. You know, in those times in the in the early centuries, so as to bring about tourism into a do state. People will not come to Edo State for tourism if there is no peace, if security, if, if, you are, if they are not sure of their security, bullets are flying here and there, and they are hearing that people are killing themselves. There is no way anybody wants to come there. Will you go to a place where there is flying bullets here and there? You as a person listening. So there it goes the answer to your question. So Edo State can only move forward if the people of Edo State dare to say we will work together as one. And so the fight for peace and unity must be, the fight for security being in place must be the drive of the people. And Edo State can only advance if everybody works together. Guys, leave me a comment. Let's hear your thoughts with regards to all that is going on. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.